In this video, I'd like to discuss the options you have in making changes to your tree. More specifically, how to change the order of actions and conditions, how to copy and paste them, and how to delete them. To change the order of conditions, select the condition that you want to move, and then click on the condition where you want to insert it. And now the selected condition will be moved to that location. Alternatively, you can also click on a condition, and then click on an action. And in that case, the condition will be moved to the bottom of the actions list. And as you can see, you can also move conditions between actions in this manner. To copy a condition, select it by left-clicking it, and then press Ctrl plus C on your keyboard. Then select where you want to insert it, and press Ctrl plus V. And the condition will now be copied to the selected location. To delete a condition, select it by left-clicking it and press Del on your keyboard. And it's gone. Now on to actions. You can switch the order of actions by clicking one and then the other. So here I've just selected the fault action. And if I now click on the raise action, then the fault action will be moved on top. Now, of course, this tree would not work, since if you compute it, all hands would simply be folded. After all, the fault action now has the highest priority, and the race action will never be reached. Let me just switch the fault action back again. To delete an action, select it, and press Del on your keyboard. And it's deleted. And of course, to undo this operation, use the undo button. To copy an action, select it and press Ctrl plus C on your keyboard. Then select the action below which you want to insert it, and press Ctrl plus V. And the action will now be copied below it. And another way of copying actions is by clicking it, pressing Ctrl C, and then mousing over a decision and pressing Ctrl plus V. And in this case the race action will be copied to the top of the list. Now please note that only the action and its conditions have been copied. However, the entire subtree behind it has not been copied. Let me restore the tree here for a minute. If you also want to copy the subtree, then select the action and press Ctrl plus Alt plus C. Now select where you want to insert and press Ctrl plus Alt plus V. And now you've copied the entire subtree as well. It's important to be careful when copying entire subtrees though. If you're doing this, then please make sure that the subtree actually makes sense in the location you're copying to. If you copy it to a location where the subtree makes no sense, then you may experience all kinds of errors, since it's hard to find safety checks for this. For example, if I were to copy-paste this subtree to this location, Racing to 6 makes no sense here, because the current bet is already 18. And if I now paste, then the branch will be moved over here, and suddenly we're now calling and checking, because the program doesn't know what to do here, since it's impossible to race to 6. I've made some attempts to add warnings here, but in the end there were just too many ways for this to go wrong. I've decided to leave it up to the responsibility of the user not to abuse this function. Let me just undo all the damage here. If at any point in editing your tree you want to quickly change the weight for condition, you can do so by right-clicking it. A dialog will now come up that will allow you to quickly edit the weight. So here I will change the weight of the last condition to 15%. And there it is. Finally, if you have an already computed tree, and you find that while editing the tree these pop-ups get in the way, then press F2 or this button to clear all the data from the tree. And now the pop-ups will no longer be present.